welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. I just thought I'd just give you a little update of what I've been doing with my pair of Corality CR10 V2s. As you can see, I've given them both the Titan Extruder upgrade. Stripped out all the um, old extruder and motor the film detector that was on this side plate Frankenstein the filament detector with a couple of zip ties up on this top rail moved the spool holder from obviously off the side of the machine up on the top of the machine so now we just run obviously the filament down through filament sensor straight down into the top of this extruder now this is an absolutely fantastic upgrade I mean, there are several videos on YouTube of people saying, oh, it's junk, oh, it's rubbish, but I don't understand why. No more clogs, no more jams, it just works flawlessly. I've had no problems with failed prints, I've had no issues with my prints. I mean, I, I just don't understand why you wouldn't want to do this upgrade. I mean, I used to get quite a few clogs, you know, suffer with a bit of wet, damp filament. So it would always clog up in the tube or clog up my nozzle. But now with this Titan extruder, I have no more worries about it clogging up in the PTFE tube or nothing like that. Straight down, straight in the hot end. So like I say, I've upgraded this one. And then I've also done the same to this one. <laughs> same setup again. And I just think this is a brilliant idea to get all this extra weight off of the gantry. Now this gantry is a lot lighter, I don't need to worry about it twisting or bending, always stays level. I did install the BL Touch on both these machines but I just found it completely pointless. They don't need BL Touch, once you've got the bed level it's absolutely fine so I took them back off So I found they were giving me more problems than anything else. Now I picked these Titan extruders up Picked them up from Banggood. I'm on camera focus, there we go. And they cost me £39 for the complete setup. So that obviously includes the motor, the, the Titan extruder itself, and the extension cable. And there's also, in the bottom here, there's a little nozzle that's, there's a little piece of, well, like the nozzle that goes, screws into the top of your hot end, and you just clamp this on. And it fixes on the back here with two screws. Uh, you will have to update your firmware, but you can get that from Creality. Five minute job to, to uh, update your firmware. And I haven't looked back since. This is the best upgrade you can do to your V2. I've noticed I've now brought out a V3, which already comes with the Titan extruder installed. And obviously then they've moved the filament detector up top but why go and spend £400 on the same printer when you can pick this part up for £39 then obviously just get an extension cable, extension lead and just zip tie your filament, detect uh, filament detector up here this lead cost me what, two, three quid, if that so 43 quid and I've got a V3 <laughs> so yeah that is the cheapskates way of upgrading your V2 to a V3 well, like I say guys, this is a 10 minute job to fit. Ready is very simple to fit. What you've got to do is you to take the hot end off, unscrew the old fitting out the top, put the new fitting in, clamp this on. Don't do your screws up too tight though, make sure they're tight but not too tight. Two screws up, plug it in, done. It is really worth doing. Like I said, I've had no clogs, no issues, nothing since doing this. Especially, you know, if your filament gets a bit damp, anything like that, you know, it would constantly clog up the PTFE tube or clog up the nozzle. So, like I say, all those problems are now gone. So, so that's what I've done to the pair of my pair of V2s. Now, down this end, take you down the other end. Here I have my CR10S. Another well worth upgrade, get rid of that stupid micro SD card and fitting one of these on the side of it. Just plugs into the little micro SD card slot, 
and then it will convert it to an SD card. But the main thing I've done to this, again, and well, this obviously isn't a Titan extruder, but this is a short feed extruder. Obviously removed the old one from the side plate. Fitted this, and now, I've had quite a lot of problems with stringing with this printer. But since fitting this, all my problems have gone. Yet again, I have no clogging. I mean, this was, this part was a little bit more than the Titan extruder. This also, this came from Banggood, and this was actually 60 pounds. But it replaced, you, you know, you do get bang for your buck. You get a whole new hot end, new nozzle, plus you'll get your Mo stepper motor, and your metal extruder, and your wiring. And this was quite easy to plug in as well. You just undone the old plug out of the back of the machine, plugged the new one in, a couple of zip ties, and that's done. And obviously, on what I'm still waiting for to come is another filament sensor that I can then install up here like I have done on my V2s. But at the minute, I'm just running the little circuit board to bypass it. Because the one that comes with this machine, well, it just looked, looked hideous. <laughs> so I removed that and just put that little circuit board on there for now. But yet again, this machine didn't require any software updates, nothing like that. Just like I say, undone the two screws that hold this on, slackened it off. You need to remove the uh, belt tensioner. And then you can then slide your old one off, slide the new one on, do it back up, plug it in, done. Like I said, no software. You want to initialize your EEPROM, drop down your legs, drop, drop down your legs, sorry, drop down your, drop down your bed, <laughs> drop down your legs, drop down the bed and then just re-level. Simple as that. Another well worth it. This is another well, I can't even speak tonight. Well worth upgrade. But if you guys are interested in any of these upgrades, I'll leave the links down in the description. Um, but like I say, give it a go. More are at it, might as well a little look round, a lot of things have changed since I last show you around here. So we have another new addition to the shop. We have a, don't know what this one is, CR10S Pro V2. I had the V1 and I had nothing but issues with it, but they have got rid of the stupid sensor for bed leveling that was on that machine and replace it with BL touch and this seems to be working a lot better had no issues anything I have done is change the bed the glass bed on this machine because the other bed that came with it was so sticky I couldn't get the prints off I had to resort to a spatula and a rubber mallet to get them off they stuck that well and then over this side we have the artillery now obviously I haven't had one, any of this, this machine before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Oh, what a fantastic machine. I just want to say the cable management on this machine is just crazily good. It's just no, there's no mess, for one. It just looks fantastic, but this will be a separate little review we do on this at a later date. That's a nice little printer, working really, really well. Like well, I say, we'll look at it a little Look at that at a later date, in another separate video. And Star Wars fans, small collection of lightsabers, but they'll be featured in another video as well. But yeah guys, that's about it for this one. I just wanted to say to you that these Titan extruders are well worth, are well worth a look. Especially if you've got the CR10 V2. I wouldn't hesitate in spending 40 of your finest pounds and doing this upgrade. It is well worth it. Anyway guys, that's it for me for now for waffling on. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll answer them. But yeah, apart from that, I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!